The massive political endorsement and campaign songs you see today isn't new in our political dispensation. It started in the 50s and musicians were involved in the celebratory mood when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah declared Ghana an independent state. It is the reason why King of High Life, the late E.T. Mensa, and the Tempo's independent celebration song, Ghana Freedom, still plays a role in modern politics. But the Fourth Republic took a new turn. Unlike the First Republic, musicians directly declared their support and recorded songs for their favorite candidates and political parties. During the 2000 general elections, former President John Kofi Ajekunkufo adopted Cindy Thompson's all-time hit Eradic Kasa, a song that arguably ascended him to the presidency. Fast forward in 2008, late former President John Evans Atamels adopted Kufo's strategy using the NDC's classic anthem, Arise Arise, composed by the late Jewel Aka to claim power. Former President John Mahama followed suit in 2012 by directly involving musicians in his campaign. He got a hit song from Takatika, composed by Michael Adangba, to run his campaign. President Nana Ikufuado also did the same and had a huge campaign song from Daddy Lumba titled Nana is a winner but lost to Mahama. However, in 2016, things changed. Despite having the biggest campaign song, Onapo, composed by the Aja NRC and backed by Shatawale's Mahama paper song, Mahama lost his presidential bid. His then opponent, Ekufuado, used that Lumbes Nana is a winner campaign song to grab power. And thus a year, we are seeing a new wave of political endorsement from top stars like Samini. While Ekufuado is campaigning with a remix of Daddy Lumbe's Nana is a Winner song and Samini's Koyaka. <laughs> is going with Mahama Fa, a new single by rapper Ko Jobi. Which campaign song is the best? One is three, one for two. Scan the band, watch your money from me. Compare nearby and it's a 20.